All right then gang, so we're about 95% of the way there now, but there's just a couple of things I'd like to do, and they involve images to make this look a bit better. So first of all, I want to apply a coffee image that surrounds this color to make it look like a coffee cup, and then also a background image to the body itself, to the home screen itself, with some coffee beans spread out to make it look nice and coffee. -y. So I've already prepped those images and they're over here in an assets folder. You can find these on the GitHub repo for this course. The link is down below. You have to select the lesson 27 branch and go into the assets folder. Now then, I'm gonna grab these two in a minute and drag them into my project, but let me just scoot it onto my other screen. It is still there, but now I can open this up again and I'm gonna create a new folder inside Brew Crew. So let me right click down here and go to new folder and call this assets. So let me now drag those into that folder. And now we have to register those inside the postbet.yaml file. Now I've already done that. Scroll down to where it says assets and then just add this line underneath assets. So now that registers anything inside this folder. Okay, so now we can use those inside this project and we're gonna do it in two different places. First of all, we're gonna do it on the home screen because that's where we want the coffee bean background image. And secondly, we're gonna do it on the brew tile because that's where we output each one of these tiles and this circle avatar right here. So we're gonna apply a, an image to this as well. So let me do this one first of all. Currently, the body of the home screen is just this brew list, but what I'd like to do is surround this with a container because we can apply some kind of background decoration to this container then. So, oops, I don't want that up there. I wanna select brew list and go to the action menu and then go to wrap with container. Now, let's just organize this a bit better so it's on a new line. And then inside this container, we have the child, which is brew list, but we can now also say decoration and that is gonna be a box decoration, like so. Now inside this box decoration widget, we can specify now an image property, and this image property is gonna be a decoration image. So decoration image, like so. And then again, inside the decoration image, we need to say the image is gonna be an asset image. Sometimes it feels in Flutter like you're nesting widget within widget within widget, and I guess that's not an amazing experience, but once you get the hang of how to do these things, it isn't really complex at all. Um, so anyway, the asset image is gonna be assets forward slash coffee underscore bg dot png. So that's one of the files we just added inside this assets file, this coffee underscore bg file. And what we're saying here is that the decoration of this container is a box decoration that takes an image property and that image property is a decoration image where the image itself is an asset image that we grab from our files. Now, if you don't understand this, I do cover this in more detail in my Flutter for Beginners series. Feel free to check that out whenever you want. The link is always in the description below. Anyway, we've done this, but we also need one more property here, and that is the fit. And this is where we tell it that we want this image to take up the size of the screen. So it's gonna be boxfit.cover, so it covers the screen. Okay, so if I save this now, then hopefully we should see those coffee beans. Voila, we do. Okay, step one done. Now the next step is to add on the image to these circle avatars right here. So let's do that, and this is pretty simple. All we need to do is add a background image property to this circle avatar. So let me do that. I'm gonna say background image, oops, image. And this is gonna be an asset image again, like so. And this time it's going to be assets forward slash coffee underscore icon dot png. I think that was the name. Let me double check this. Um, coffee icon dot png. Awesome. So then if I save it now, hopefully we should see the coffee icon right here. Not great. I know I'm not going to win any design awards. I just wanted to make it look a little bit like a coffee um, cup from a bird's eye perspective. So the coffee's in the middle with this little sheen on it, a plate underneath, and you can see the handle. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But the reason we can still see the color underneath this, by the way, is because the middle of this image is transparent, okay? It's just kind of like the coffee cup and the plate underneath that has color in it. The rest is transparent. So the color right here is still shining through, and that's why we can see it. And if I change it, if I go to settings, and make it, for example, a black coffee, that should still update over here. Yes, it does. 
we can see it's a black coffee, okay? So let me try making this light to make sure it still works. Update this, and yep, it's light. It looks like a cup of milk. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That is our app completely done. So in the next video, I just wanna take a few minutes to kind of start again, delete all the users, and try this out from scratch. Just test it out with a few different users, add about three or four, and see if there's any problems, but hopefully there won't be.